starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking night right now at 10. New details about that large police presence on the west side in the last 90 minutes. We've learned it was a canine officer that took down a robbery suspect on the run. This is video of that man on the ground after being caught by canine Valor. We also learned from JSO that an officer did fire his weapon at the suspect, but missed. News 4 Jax was the first to bring you this breaking news during our 5.30 newscast. Yeah, JSO is telling us that investigators have been searching for this robbery suspect for some time. They say he's wanted for several robberies over a two-week span, and they finally caught up with him after another robbery this afternoon. That robbery happened on San Juan Avenue near Niblick Drive. Our crime and safety expert, Ken Jefferson, is giving us his insight tonight. But we start with News for Jacks reporter Corley Peel, who's been live on the scene all evening. Corley. Police say the man is wanted in several robberies in this area, including one involving an elderly man who was knocked down off his walker. You can see this scene has cleared up from this afternoon. Investigators say they were already searching this area for the suspect when they say he robbed another person around noon. Once they spotted him, the man ran, which eventually led to a canine biting him. This witness video shows the moments after police say a wanted serial robbery suspect was taken down by canine Valor Thursday afternoon after he ran from police. A man who came to the scene near San Juan and Nibic Avenue says he's the suspect's father and is worried about what happened. Yeah, I need some answers. I need to find out what happened. That afternoon, police say they were searching the area for the man who was wanted in at least five recent robberies in the area. Once police noticed him, he ran, leading them on a chase, jumping over fences and hiding under a house. Police say an officer fired a taser at him at some point, but it didn't work. An officer did fire his weapon, but the suspect was not hit and police say no one was shot. The chase finally came to an end when a canine bit him. One witness told me they're glad police made the arrest. I mean, it's not right. I mean, that's that's how I feel about it. I mean, people work hard for their money and stuff and you can go get a job just like anybody else can. Police say the suspect has been released from the hospital and is now in jail. Investigators say that they're not releasing his name at this time because police are still working to connect him to the other robberies he's accused of. Reporting live from the West Side, Corley Peel, Channel 4, the local station. Well, we spoke with News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson tonight about this man possibly being involved in other robberies. Yeah, and Ken walks us through the process of putting together the pieces of this puzzle. They've got to do interviews, um, they've got to do photo spreads, they've got to do all sorts of things to try to tie everything in to this one guy. You know, he can actually be charged with just this one crime and be arrested, booked, and placed in jail, and the other charges can come later. And Ken says he could be charged with this robbery and other charges can come later. K-9 Valor has made headlines before for taking down a suspect. The sheriff's office posting a photo of Valor and his handler. After taking down an escaped inmate the police were searching for on his first call ever. And we're going to be closely following this breaking story throughout the night, and we will bring you updates as they come, on, uh, come in on air and on newsforjax.com.